the rule is you're supposed to go for the ball and not the man. In this instance, when the oh, God, Winfield Jr. was clearly not going at all for the ball, otherwise he could have turned around and intercepted it. He was blocking, blocking the man. He was actually blocking the man. And he eased up and knew at the last second that he was wrong. Watch this, folks. Uh, watch, watch this, okay? When he goes into it, all right? See that? His move is like, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. That normally is a pass interference penalty. You see the ball is just bouncing out of the way. At no point does Winfield turn around to look for the ball to even try to bother catch it. All right, at at all. That that's wrong. And then he comes in, and see that is misleading. You would think that he's looking back for the ball, but he's not. He's actually turning his head to avoid hitting Lewis. The ball is behind him. The telephone lens foreshortens things. All right, that's pass interference, and yet these. Duh, 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 have this conference, and it's away. almost like they're saying, well, we want to make sure that Tampa wins the game, you know? Yeah. So let's, let's just uh, um, sure make them. this a no call and go home. Boy, that's horrible. Yep, that's what a, a bad game. I mean, as much as I would agree with anyone in saying that Daniel Jones did not play a great game, that last drive was the triumph of macho stupidity over common sense because common sense was... They shouldn't have got that far down the field with the way they were playing, but they did through a lot of interesting plays. But that is clearly a pass interference call. I don't care. That is what that is. It should not have ended this way, but it's going to.